It has been said that the first thing someone notices about you are your shoes. For the thousands of travelers through Cleveland Hopkins Airport, there's one business making sure you make a good impression. Leon Bibb introduces us to the men and women of Cleveland Shine. Whoever said these boots are made for walking headed right? Even at Cleveland's airport, shoe leather walks the walk well before your plane takes the flight. At Cleveland Airport, someone is eyeballing your shoes, recommending time for a shine. In the hands of a professional, you will find more spring in your step. In a day's time, we see about 150 customers, you know, and all combined with all three concourses. Curtis English was there the day someone suggested a shoe shine stand. So he and his crew began polishing the image of the airport where 30,000 people daily walk the Cleveland concourses. Shoes from clodhoppers to clogs, sandals to sneakers, penny loafers to stylish pumps. You could use some polish, sings Cleveland Shine. First thing everybody notices is your feet. I got a, a big, big meeting this afternoon and uh, I want to walk in with some, you know, nice shoes, you know. Style starts at foot level, so the airport shoe shine stand is a stop for anyone looking for polish and brush and a soft touch cloth. It's all about that friction. All you want is a well-conditioned shoe and then you'll get that shine instantly. Leather is basically is just like the skin that we have on our bodies. Once you put lotion on it, keep it moisturized and keep it from cracking. Air traffic controllers monitor flights, but this business monitors a different traffic, the walk-in kind. Say, there's Congresswoman Marsha Fudge heading for a Washington, D.C. vote. No shoe shine time today, but on the round trip, she'll polish up her act. When you leave that chair, your shoes are shining, you feel good. A plop down in the chair can give a relaxing moment before elbowing onto a plane or fighting baggage claim. The very first photograph that had people in it captured the images of a shoeshine man buffing the boots of a customer. That was in 1838. Well, shoe shining has been around long before that. Probably began when that first person put on a pair of shoes and stepped out saying, I want to look good. Oh yeah, I can uh, bring any shoe back to life. Well, I allowed my Oxfords to get shine back to life. Shop owner Curtis English and I reminisced about our Cleveland neighborhoods when shoe shine parlors were abundant. For years, Curtis has sported good-looking kicks. Yes, I do. That's all part of it. That's part of it. You can't walk. I can't walk around. Shoes. No, not at all. Not at all. And plus, I love shoes. And the airport loves Cleveland shine. Just ask the managing company overseeing concourse businesses. So it's great to know that that we have this service at the airport for businessmen, businesswomen that are coming through. They know you are a man who knows style. I certainly hope so. <laughs> <laughs> shoes are more than for walking. They bring style. Buff to a gloss, shoes can take you higher in life. You'll see Cleveland shine before your airliner launches you into the sky as the shoe shiners remind you to remember your feet on the ground. Leon Bibb, Channel 3 News. <laughs> That's some good stuff. That is. <laughs> okay, guys, it's true. Women notice shoes. Just a little tip in case you didn't know. That's how I met my I, wife. I, you, so it's the same with men? No, she noticed my flip-flops and just <laughs> fell in love immediately. By the way, nice flip-flops. I think that tells a lot about your story today. me. Well, we Listen. busted ourselves at six. Well, I changed yeah, my I, shoes I, I, when I saw I, that Liam piece coming I'm up. I'm still so. wearing flip-flops. You are.